Hi everybody, it's your girl Tofu. So today we are doing a little more of an in-depth look of Welcome to Blackwell Academy, the book that I got a few months ago that I haven't really had the chance to explore and look at further with you guys. So I'm really excited that we're finally making the time to do this today. I just wanted to take a little bit of a closer look at it before I read it for myself and I wanted to do it with you guys. So let's get into it. All right, so first impressions. I think I might have done this last time, but I honestly don't remember. It feels like a yearbook, those heavy $100 yearbooks that we all paid for in high school or we all ignore because that's a lot of fucking money. <laughs> and you open it up, the pages, super soft, super glossy. There appears to be lots of color, uh, scuff marks. It looks like a well-loved book, even though it's brand new. And there's something I think really beautiful about that anyway. And so that's this side. It has a little bit of weight to it. And I, I love books that are heavy, hard hardcover books that are heavy. There's something really, really nice uh, that I love about that. And then if you flip it over, you get this side of the book. And there are two sides of the book. You just flip them over, and but you can read both sides. Oh guys, I'm also really sorry about the angle. Like this was the best that I could do. I tried to get you guys as close so you can see, see as much as possible, but I'm not sure how great the detailing is. The lighting's probably not that great, but I did do the best I could. I really just wanted to explore this a little bit more with you guys. So I'm sorry if it's not the best, but I tried and effort was made. I think I looked at this last time and I commented about like how like it's a scuff mark. I keep thinking like that's me or something. It's not. It's just the way the book comes and I think there's something really cute about that. And there's like a watercolor stain right here. The student guide to Black Hell Academy. The coffee stain. Chloe, I can't believe you wrote all over this book. Me? What about you, Max Caulfield? Okay. Oh my. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. How fitting is it that Chloe's the blue ink? And Max is this black ink right here. I just think it's so fitting that Chloe's the blue ink. I'm not Max, you started it. I'm not the only one who wrote in this book, so what if I did? Won't you get in trouble for this too, Chloe Price? For defacing a book? Get to the back of the line. You should really treat your things better. It's not my book anymore, Max. So since I obviously can't return this to the school library, I suppose I should just write on every page of this book, huh? That's the spirit, you go girl. Blackwell Academy logo. <laughs> a college preparatory high school in Arcadia Bay, Oregon, leading students toward excellence in the sciences and arts. And then Chloe wrote of farts instead of and, and arts. <laughs> Such highbrow humor, Chloe. We go with our strengths, Rachel. <gasps> Guys, Rachel's red. Oh, so it's, it's, it's not just Max and Chloe, it's other people. Ha ha. Oh, they even like annotated this. Written by Matt Forbeck, edited by Matt Ralphs, designed by Amazing15, screenshots by Pat Forbeck, corrections and commentary by Chloe Price and Max Caulfield, discovered by Victoria Chase, and I'm so telling on you bitches, you don't have the guts, says Chloe. <laughs> Max says, just saying, that's a lot of mats. There's two mats and one wrote it and one edited it. That's cute. Oh, I love like the stickers that are here and the different the different colors just even on the most boring pages of any book that you look at like this is still there's still so much to look at in just these few pages that's really cool it's real neat oh that is so pretty that is so oh my heart bffs forever as long as you keep rewinding time chloe max i mean like anyone else is ever going to read this you two are idiots. Fuck you too, Victoria. So Victoria's green, Rachel's red, Chloe's blue, Max's uh, black ink. Like, ugh, that, there's something really cool about that. I feel like I'm already getting so much personality from just a few words that they've written. Like, you can see Victoria's bitchiness. You can see, you can hear kind of um, Rachel's attitude right here in her comment. <laughs> they, they annotated his office. This is his, this is his porn collection. Whiskey, embezzled funds, oh my god. And they even drew on him. I'm very disappointed in you, Chloe. It's like meant to look like paint. Bartholomew Prescott, AKA Farty Barty, says Chloe. And then someone said, grow the fuck up. And then Chloe said, too bad he's going to flunk out and disappoint everyone in the family all the way 
back to great great grandpa. Oh, that might be Nathan. Purple might be Nathan. Oh, that is so cool. We're, I, like, I honestly thought this might have just only been annotated by Max and Chloe, but like, there's a lot more. Thank you so much for stepping up for this. We couldn't have done the play without you. And then Chloe said, don't mention it seriously, ever. <laughs> Max says, I can't believe you were actually on stage for this. And then Chloe says, ugh. And then Max says, just like when we would play pirates. And then Chloe said, arr. Like, guys, this is so cool. I didn't realize that this book like was something that Rachel and Chloe shared together and then Chloe and Max shared together. Like there's something so beautifully immersive about this. I'm dying. Like there's doodles on every page. There's stickers. It's just a bunch of information about Blackwell. Oh, there's like pictures. Oh my god. I wanted to zoom you guys in a little bit. Endorsements and recommendations. <laughs> and then look. A brilliant beacon of art, imagination, and knowledge in a dark, cold world filled with ignorance. Mark Jefferson, award-winning photographer. Wow, how'd they get a quote from him? I think Victoria offered herself up to him as tribute. <laughs> oh, guys, look at this. So there's like pictures of different places and like little notes, but look at this. Look at the picture of the barn. When in doubt, find your nearest creepy barn and get to shooting. Who took this, says Nathan. Nathan's fucking oh my god I can't that little like that little easter egg like there's some actual shit in here oh my god I'm shook meeting the teaching staff Charles Cole Travis Keaton Ingrid Ferdinand Percival Jackson social sciences Percival Jackson Percival Jackson <laughs> my brain immediately goes to Percy Jackson <laughs> Percival Jackson, social sciences. Before he joined us to teach history, psychology, and political science, Mr. Jackson, Mr. Jackson was originally a Blackwell Academy valedictorian. After graduation, he attended Yale, where he studied ancient Greece. Ancient Greece? Percival Jackson? I think it's Percy. <laughs> From Percy Jackson and the Olympians. And thereafter spent several years in the Peace Corps in multiple locations overseas. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's something so innocent and beautiful about this. Do you have drugs on your mind, Chloe? My mind? No, just my pocket. <laughs> Campus maintenance. Such a creep. The fact that you don't like him now makes him my best friend. Tomorrow I'm bringing him an apple and Victoria says, the perfect gift from such a witch. And then Chloe's like, you could maybe use some fiber yourself. Here's the character profiles. I remember Warren. Um, when we looked at it, um, when we did the unboxing of this book, I remember Warren looked fucking weird. Let's go find him real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that that's the stuff nightmares are made out of. Oh, guys, this page is super cute, especially this quote right here. Somebody once told me this closet cannot hold me. I'm a skeleton. Give me your head. Damn it, Chloe, now that's stuck in my head. That is so cute. I love... I just absolutely love getting these little moments with them. Oh my goodness. Guys, I am loving the banter that is between all of the people who are writing this. I think it, it looks like it's mostly Max and Chloe, but there's other people interspersed in here less frequently, but still, it's still there. And I think I'm getting so much of Max, so much of Chloe, and it, it's, it, it's really true to form of how they were in the game, I think. Oh, here beginneth Max and Chloe's exclusive secret and artistically majestic gallery. Everyone except Max and Chloe butt out. Beware of wild animals. Oh, it's like watercolor. It's a picture of them. Memories and time sticker. Like this looks like actual masking tape. This looks like actual like paper that like, and this looks like Sharpie. <laughs> Guys, like the artist in me is loving this so much. Oh my God. And there's like pictures of the environments. And it's a drawing. Here. Everything about this is just stunning. And there's always just so much to look at. There's never a dull page from what it looks like. Like it's not just picture here, picture there. Like there's there's always commentary and there's always something familiar. Like I think this is Chloe's tattoo. Look at this. Keymaster Chloe. Is that the cutest drawing of her or what? I love that so much. I don't even know who that is or who or this Max wrote this, but maybe she took a picture of it. I'm not sure. I love how the texture that comes across and just the prints of these pages, like everything's glossy, high colored. Oh, this is beautiful. 
Max and Chloe. This looks like something that would be in a coloring book that I'd want to color. Like, I'd love to color Chloe's tattoos right here. And then this is Rachel and Chloe. This is beautiful. Oh, it's two girls running by the ocean, and there's rainbows and happiness. And I'm gonna cry, fuck. And these balls, hot dog man. Th this reminds me of Riley and Ellie when they took pictures like this in uh, Last of Us Left Behind, I think. That's beautiful. All right. Oh, and this looks like to be from the other part of the book. So this is when I guess you turn it around and read from this side. Welcome to Arcadia Bay. It looks like a completely different book. Like this is so weird. Welcome to Get Me Out of Here. That's Chloe's handwriting. And Max said, Chloe, you wrote all over this book too? It's the same book, Max. It's just different boring subject matter. And then Max said, I am shocked, shocked that you would deface transparent marketing materials this way. And then Chloe says, are you sure you're Max? She's usually far more chill. So they annotate this. Ah, they uh, gave Sean Prescott a few accessories right here. Yeah, so this is just more, I guess, the informational part of the book. So you get history of Arcadia Bay, different places you can go to, and but you still get that same commentary with the different people, different different people writing. And uh, again, like the colors are beautiful. You get the stickers, the doodles, these little adverts right here. James Amber for district attorney. Everything relates to the game beautifully. Again, with the doodles, different places to visit, ads with their commentary still. Beautiful colors. Oh, they didn't, no one um, annotated this page like they do on almost every page. That's interesting. This kind of looks like a poster, doesn't it? Oh, and this is, I think, where the other part of the book starts. That looks like a very Chloe piece of artwork, doesn't it? <laughs> and... That's where it gets us the other part of the book. So I definitely have quite a few thoughts on this after we've looked at it a little bit more. In general, it's stunning. I love the pictures, it's high quality. I honestly think it was definitely worth the money. And there's just so much information in here. You can tell like this was put together with love and care. And it wasn't just, oh, well let's put a bunch of pictures together from the game and sell it for 30 bucks or 20 or whatever. This is now like you can tell like a lot of time and care was put into this and making sure that Max and Chloe had the same personality like and time was put into this to make sure their personalities came across and all the other people who um, like Rachel or Nathan who contributed to like the annotations of this book. The biggest thing that I appreciate about this book right now is that it gives me a little more time with Max and Chloe and their friendship when nothing bad was happening quite yet. Like, uh, Rachel's body wasn't discovered, Max wasn't mourning Chloe, or Chloe wasn't resentful at Max for not hitting her up as soon as she came back to Arcadia Bay. Like, this is the moment in their friendship when it, it was there was kind of a lull, when they could just focus on being friends and they could just be together and re-familiarize, re-establish themselves in that friendship and that relationship there was still all the other drama going on, but it was it was before, the, I think, the really heavy and hard and dark stuff from this game hit them. And I think there's something really, really beautiful about that, that I get to spend time with Max and Chloe, but in a happier way and not, I don't know, I, I just, I get to revisit them in a in this way, in a beautiful way to remember them instead of the end of the game or um, discovering Rachel's body or Chloe being mad at us. Like there's just something really, really, really stunning about being able to revisit them like this and be with them. And I don't know guys, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I really, really love what we explored here today. And I think this would be a great, a great accompaniment a great extension of the story from the game to, uh, for any Life is Strange fan. I think this is going to be something really, really special for me and it gives me a little more time um, with Max and Chloe when things weren't turning to shit and I really, I really appreciate that time with them. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed looking at this with me. I hope you'll check it out. I'll be sure to put the um, Amazon link of the book down in the description below of this video. And before we end today, I just want to give a huge thank you to the editor of this book, Matt Ralphs, for allowing me to like go on video and just look at this with you guys and get a feel for what's happening and um, kind of like reviewing it, I guess. So I want to thank him for letting us do that on the channel. I think that's really neat. And I also want to congratulate Matt Forbeck and Matt Ralphs on the publish publishing of this book. I think it's something really, really special. I think you guys did a great job with it. And I just want to congratulate you guys on all your hard work. I can tell that you put a lot of time and care into this. And I think I can speak for a lot of Life is Strange 1 fans. Thank you so much for doing that. We really appreciate it. And um, I, I think a lot of us enjoy this book. So thank you so much for doing that and congratulations. So I hope you enjoy the video. And um, until the next episode of whatever we're doing, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys!